Hi guys, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and today I want to talk about five things, five things every man needs. So this is a definitive guide. So fuckers, grab a scotch, grab a scotch, take a seat, watch this fucking video and tell me what you think. guys five essentials every man needs what do they need well number one number one you need some sort of some sort of luxury timepiece quick wristwatch check today I'm wearing a breguet a breguet type 20 it's Valentine's Day so I'm added a bit of the French flair that's a bit of French flair uh, for Valentine's Day, hence the pink. Uh, to remember all the bitches I have fucked before. Uh, and I'm, this is my breguet. It's a breguet type 20 chronograph. You need, by the time you're in your 20s, mid to late 20s, you need a fucking decent wristwatch on your wrist. It's gonna fucking hurt! It's gonna hurt. No fucking ETA. No fucking Squale Steinhardt in Victor. No fucking Borman Mercia. You need a decent timepiece on your fucking fat wrist. If you like water sports, a Breitling Super Ocean could be the way to go. Make sure you get the in-house version. You don't want that ghastly fucking ETA fucking shitter. No shitters here, please. We want the real deal. The real deal, fuckers. Another alternative, if you wanted to go for a... Um, this is another very popular choice, which I, I quite enjoy. It is the, um, the Tudor... The Tudor Black Bay Heritage. A heritage diver. Look at that. Tudor Black Bay Heritage. It's another classic dive watch. And um, I've got to say, to be honest with you there, I think that Tudor itself, that is probably the best entry-level luxury wrist watch for any man about town. That is numero uno. Numero uno, fuckers. Uh, another great piece, which every man could understand, of course, is any type of Rolex, 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 Rolex is a great brand of uh, wristwatch to have there. James Bond, Archibald Chesterfield III, he, uh, Archibald wore a Rolex numerous times. I've had numerous models, um, and if you wanted to be... Um, if you're a bit of a, uh, if you're a science teacher, a, uh, Omega Speedmaster, man on the fucking moon. Man on the fucking moon! So, every man, when they're in their 20s, they need a decent, a decent, <clears throat> by decent I mean something that if you asked for your wife's permission or your wife or girlfriend's permission should say, Oh, that's a bit expensive. We want something to hurt. It's got to hurt. 
every man must have a very decent wristwatch. By decent, I mean fucking expensive. It's got to fucking hurt. At least, at least a month's salary, please. Please. No fucking ETA shitters. No, got to be in-house movements. It's got to be, it's got to be a beautiful timepiece. We need a good timepiece on our wrist. Very important indeed. Number two, number two, what is the, number two fuckers, number two, what does a man need? I'll tell you what a fucking man needs. He needs a writing instrument. What, what do I recommend as far as a writing instrument? Well, it needs to be beautiful. It needs to be dependable. I'm using the Greenwich, the Greenwich, the Greenwich, I use a Greenwich Parker Duo Fold. This was a special edition for the the new millennium. This is probably one of the most comfortable fountain pens I've ever owned. I've owned numerous. I've had a, a collection of uh, Bonta Grappa. I've had uh, Mont Blanc. But this is probably one of the, the, the most beautiful pens to write with. Uh, the most important thing about a fountain pen, you want to use Indian ink. It's, it doesn't wash out. And when you get shitty, you simply throw it on the carpet. If you're in a bank and you're not getting your own way, start spraying the fountain pen ink around. It's a bitch to clean out, believe you me. It is an absolute bitch. So every man needs some sort of writing instrument. I do love the fountain pen. I've, I've actually um, I've streamlined my collection. I had, a, I had a huge collection of fountain pens. But I've, I've trimmed the collection down to two. I've got my Parker Duofold Greenwich Edition. And I've also got, this is one of my favorite writing pens, is a Cartier. Uh, it's got it's the Cartier, it's actually the, the Trinity, the must Trinity, the three bands of gold there. This is a very delightful fountain pen. I love it indeed. Uh, beautiful, beautiful fountain pen, which... Um, I really do love Cartier. Um, I must say, I, I do love, I also do love, I also have a Mont Blanc, which Mont Blanc is a bit cheesy. They make ghastly, pure ghastly timepieces. But uh, this is a burgundy uh, Mont Blanc uh, roll, uh, ballpoint, ballpoint, ballpoint. Not the roller ball. I was going to say roller ball, roller ball, the cap comes off. This is the the, the ballpoint, uh, beautiful, beautiful pen that indeed I, I do, I do love that. I love the burgundy. It goes with my Tudor Black Bay, my Tudor Black Bay uh, burgundy heritage. Uh, quite a delightful, delightful couple of quality. I mean, I mean you can have one writing instrument, but but it's a very, 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 very plebeian just to have one. Why have one when you can have many? And uh, my piece of a la resistance, a la 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 resistance, a la resistance, a la resistance, is my uh, Alfred Dunhill, Dunhill, Alfred Dunhill. This is the Alfred Dunhill Millennium Pen, which, if you look at this, if you turn it, the line shrinks in. Look at that. It's like a Rolls Royce, beautifully engineered look at that so it's using you've got the pen the the clip has shrunken in and when we close it it comes out so we can put it in one's shirt pocket so uh just a, a, a very delightful pen i love the the alfred dunhill um alfred dunhill millennium this is in silver sterling silver uh i, I really do love the alfred dunhill brand it's it, it is a uh <coughs> Very quintessential English brand. The funny thing is, most of the, the shops for Alfred Dunhill aren't in London, no. They do have a shop in Bond Street in London, but uh, most of the Alfred Dunhill stores are in Japan and Hong Kong. Just figure that one out, fuckers. It seems chavs don't buy expensive menswear. It seems uh, aspirational Asian businessmen like like the brand. I, I, I do like... Um, I, I, I do like 
the Britishness of uh, Alfred Dunhill and uh, that leads to me why someone said oh why do you collect toy soldiers and, and I've always loved these toy soldiers are from Britons that's the fair that's the these are metal hand-painted soldiers uh, Britons Britons is a very famous English um, they are famous very famous English uh, maker of uh, uh, metal soldiers used to be lead, lead, lead soldiers, but they've they've changed the the mix now. Lead's a bit, bit toxic if you if you know if you know what what I mean there. But um, I've got to tell you, I I've been a, a huge fan of Britain's um, metal or lead toy soldiers for years. I'm not copying anyone. This is my own individuality. Is Mr. Policeman? Oh, 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 Mr. Policeman. And uh, I've got to tell you there, honestly, the uh, toy soldiers. I've, 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 I've had, I've had a. I'll show you my my first one. This was one, my first time. My dad went back to England. He got me this, Queen's Guard, Queen's Guard with the bear hat, and uh, the sentry box. So I, I've had this for years, and uh, I, I must say. I do like the, the toy soldiers, but uh, as I was saying there, the Alfred Dunhill, a little bit sidetracked there, but um, Alfred Dunhill, one of the, the great, you, you, it, it's a unique pen, it's just a unique, fantastic writing instrument to have, and uh, I'm very, very proud to, to have a, uh, <coughs> a bit of an ensemble of uh, writing instruments. I know writing instruments are a, a thing of a, a bygone era there. And uh, that, that's true to a certain degree. Yes, I, I understand. It is iPads, and uh, you know, you know, uh, it, it's all it's all changing, of course. But um, one should never forget the art of writing. And um, a, a beautiful writing instrument is a beautiful thing. I uh, years ago I, I had my Montegrappa, which absolutely wrote like a pig, but uh, it was impressive. It was like H.R. Puffin stuff's magic flute. It was a big fucker. Okay, <clears throat> mo mo moving, moving right along there, old chaps. Moving right along. And the, the third thing every, every man needs. I, I, will, <coughs> I will bring this out, fuckers. I'll bring this out. This is, um, this is a very important thing for every man to have. What does he need? He needs. This is, I mean, it's just so, so sad that it's, it's a bygone era now. Every man needs, what does he need? I'll tell you what he needs. He needs a briefcase. And not just any briefcase, it needs to be, it needs to be a firm, not a soft briefcase, that's for pussies. It needs to be a hard-edged briefcase. Now let's, let's just, we'll just take this devil out here. We'll just take it out and let's have a let's have a bit of a, a sticky beak beak here. This is a um, this is my briefcase of choice, and I absolutely love oh mummy, I love my briefcase. <clears throat> I, I I I really do love my um, my briefcase. Very important thing to have there, and um, I've got to tell you. A beautiful briefcase is a very important thing for every uh, gentleman to have there. This is the um, Louis Vuitton um, Epi. This is the, the first, uh, this green, the Epi green was, was the original color of the Epi when it came out in the 90s. This is the leather. Love this leather. And um, it's, it's a very delightful, this is the Diplomat. This is the Louis Vuitton diplomat in tiger green and uh oh! oh my god just smell that you just smell the interior on a oh it's just amazing and uh it's 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 one of these things every man needs a briefcase Every man needs a briefcase, and uh, I loved. I remember when this Tiger Green came out, and I I, I remember reading Cl Car and Classic Classic Car magazine, and I, I dreamt about having a um, 
a British Racing Green E-Type Jaguar 3.8 Coupe, thank you. 3.8 Coupe, preferably flat four Coupe, um, with the biscuit interior, biscuit leather interior, and uh, putting this briefcase on the, the seat next to myself. And um, the Jag never came, but the, um, the briefcase did. I remember going into Louis Vuitton in the uh, 90s, in the 90s, it would have been 19, 1998, I had a good year. So this is near, tw well, 20 years ago, 20 years ago, and this particular briefcase was $4,400. That's like, with inflation, 7,000 Australian dollars for a briefcase. And I remember thinking, fuck, that's expensive. But every man does need, he needs a briefcase. They need, you need a briefcase. Why do you need a briefcase? You need a briefcase to hide men's magazines. Men's magazines. You need to hide them somewhere. Uh, where, where are you going to put your rubbers? Your rubbers. Where are you going to hide your rubbers? Especially if you're a married man, how do you explain um, having rubbers if your wife is on the pill and you've, you, you, you don't want to bring back any nasty diseases. You've got to hide your rubbers somewhere. Now, they may not see that as being responsible. They, they may see that as evidence. So I strongly suggest you have a, a briefcase. This is a briefcase which you can lock, seal, and no son of a bitch can get into. So I, I honestly recommend every man needs a le well a briefcase they need a briefcase they need a briefcase every man needs a solid not a soft a solid briefcase that is what you need i'm i'm sorry this is this is very important every man needs a briefcase you may not use it every day but you need to have a safe store for your your any stick magazines where do you put your rubbers um you need to put confidential documents away like you're planning for divorce, or you're 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 you're, you're writing to that uh, lady that 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 we're all I mean all gentlemen of, of sorts are looking for the um, the main squeeze a multi millionaire I mean uh, you, you're corresponding with with wenches from around the world you need to have a place to store these gifts that you've received you may receive a uh, birthday card you may receive any number of things and uh, when you're in that initial phase of trying to check out whether she is really fucking rich or just pretending to be one needs to store these things very sensitively so uh every man needs a briefcase um it's very important it's very important it's, it's very sad it was actually the reason why briefcases went out of faction. It was actually the gay movement, which which I, I do love. I do love gay men, please, by all means. But the um, the gay movement, they sort of moved into man bags, and before you know it, the briefcase was dropped. If only, if only the heterosexual men were involved at the time, it would never have happened. It was just it happened so quickly. We blinked an eye and it was all over Red Rover. It had all gone pear-shaped and uh, it's very hard to resurrect the briefcase. Very, very hard to, to, to resurrect the, the briefcase. It's, it's sad, it's, it's, it is honestly, it, it, it's, it's a very disappointing thing, but this is the, um, this is the truth about the briefcase. You, all, all men need a, um, a briefcase very very important to to have in this modern age so so please please um, go and um, smell of leather oh my god you every man does need a briefcase so um, it's quintessential for a man to have and uh, the next item the fourth the fourth thing every man does need is a pair of uh, sunglasses because one, whether one is motoring, 
whether one is on an aeroplane, you need to have a pair of sunglasses. And uh, in, in my case here, there is only one brand. I will, um, well, there's a few brands, there's, there's, uh, but uh, the brand that I really uh, enjoy is uh, Persol. That's right, the Italian brand. And uh, there's, there's another YouTube goon who, uh, who pretends that uh, her soul was his discovery, but it, it was fucking mine. It was fucking mine. And um, I, I, I think her soul sunglasses are the best glasses. Italian, Italian glasses. Um, the side, the side markings here tell you these are a pair of her souls. I, I think they're just absolutely gorgeous sunglasses. These sunglasses were perfected by um, Steve McQueen in the Thomas Crown Affair, <clears throat> the Thomas, the original Thomas Crown Affair, not the the version with uh, Pierce Brosman. Pierce Brosman interestingly wore a Jaeger Lecoultre in the second one. He was with the Rolls Royce Seraph. I do like the Pierce Brosman version, but the uh, Steve McQueen version, of course, is, is Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen, the coolest man on earth. So, um, um, per soul sunglasses. You they, these these are surprisingly not so expensive. Her soul isn't huge. They're not hugely expensive, these glasses. So, um, by all means, a um, couple hundred dollars. Uh, and they, they, they'll last a lifetime. They're, they're, they are quite amazing. Yes, they're owned by Loxofuck. They're owned by that big conglomerate. Yes, Loxofuck. Yeah, they're, they're, that's, that's, that's the way the whole world works. Loxofuck owns all the... Uh, the optics makers. I'm sorry, that is just how life is. But the Persols, I think, are still fantastic. They're, they are great sunglasses to have. I love a pair of Persols, and um, um, I, I, I think they're the quintessential gentleman's set of glasses. The Persol sunglasses, absolutely amazing. I've had I've had a, quite a few pairs of Persols, and I, I I do love them. I think they are. Um, really, really cool uh, glasses to have. The coolest glass to have, um, you know. And, and I, I always recommend if you are traveling, if you're on an aircraft, sunglasses. You wouldn't be surprised. You'd be surprised how bright the plane is. Everyone has the shutters open, and it's just too bright, too glary. Put some sunglasses on, and uh, you find that the trip is far more enjoyable. So. Uh, <coughs> I, I love to travel with these basols have been uh, on, on too many different continents and um, I, I quite enjoy them. I quite quite enjoy these sunglasses here. So they're, uh, they're an investment. It also protects your eyes. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think you can go wrong with a beautiful pair of basols. So um, by, by all means, go and... Um, Grab a pair for yourself. For soul sunglasses, absolutely beautiful. So, um, if you don't already have a pair, they are well worth it. Far cooler than Ray Ban. Uh, Ray Ban is very, very. It's for people who think they're cool, whereas for souls are for people who are cool. So uh, I, I do love Cartier. I had Cartier sunglasses. They were super cool. Cartier was cool, but um, I gotta be honest with you there. It's um, Persol, I think, are cooler. Okay, I think they're just. Yeah, you know, Cartier's are extremely expensive sunglasses, but Persol's are just useful. Okay, guys, that leaves us up with number five. What is the fifth item every man should have? Every gentleman should have? What should they have? What should they have? What should they have indeed? And. Um, I was going to pull out, I was going to pull out, I was going to pull out a hereditary, where is it, oops, oops, no, I seem to have lost it, I was going to pull out a hereditary title, but what I think every man should have is, every man should have is a a decent camera, a decent camera, and uh, I, I've got to tell you there, guys, it's it's camera, 
to be able to use a DSLR camera is a great thing. So I, I really do think um, every man should know how to take a decent shot with a DSLR camera. And uh, I gotta tell you guys, I gotta tell you, I think it's an amazing piece of kit. It's an amazing piece of kit, which is, um, amazing piece of kit. I think you either go, I mean, Canon is too gauche. I wouldn't go Canon. You go Nikon. I think Nikon, <coughs> the Nikon system is, is great by a quality full frame Nikon. Um, I, I do like, I must admit, I have played around with the, uh, Micro Four Thirds, the Olympus. I do like the Olympus gear. Olympus has got some good stuff. Pentax, a little bit cheap and nasty. Not, not, not really. Uh, even though they take good shots, I, I, I prefer Olympus is quite nice. Uh, and then of course there's the Europeans, which is the Leica. Leica, Leica cameras, um, amazing. Uh, be careful. Certain Leica models are just rebadged. Panasonics, um, but uh, some of the um, uh, the Leicas are absolutely amazing. Mind you, they're a range finder camera, not a um, they're not like a DSLR, different different system for focusing and and viewing. So, uh, but I, I've got to say, if you want a uh, a really good, a really fantastic camera. I love Nikon. Nikon is quality. I mean, this is the camera that went to Vietnam War. The journalists had Nikons. They had Nikons. Um, really fantastic gear. Well made. Uh, the thing I love with Nikon is, uh, I think you've got to go full frame. I think full frame is just cooler. You can look down on all those people who have fucking um, DX. You know, that's, that's the, the four thirds cameras. Uh, full frame, using a 50mm lens, it's a 50mm lens. You're using an 85, it's an 85. Just, it's just so cool to do that. So I think every man needs a camera. I mean, you can use your iPhone, you can use your iPhone, but it's not really cool, is it? I mean, let, let's be honest there. You, you, you've met the girl of your dreams. She's got money. <clears throat> Her parents have a lot of money. They want to give you money. Isn't it cool if you could take a nice snap and you knew how to how to do it? Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be very cool to pull off? And um, <clears throat> obviously, if she doesn't have money, don't waste your fucking time. I mean, fuck, fuck, next, next. So um, yeah, every man needs to have a decent camera. And uh, personally, I think the Nikon is the way to go. But. Um, uh, if you if if you if you want to be a bit of a hipster, the the, the Fuji X100 that looks like the Leica. That's I had one of those. They were a very cool camera, great camera. I love that camera. Um, that's a, that's another cool camera to get there. So, guys, I hope this is this has been a guide. Five key things <clears throat> every man should have. Every man should have. So I want you to tell me. Tell me what you think. Tell me what, the, what you think of the choices. Did I get it wrong? Should something else have been on there? Tell me what you think. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you fuckers, you lousy, miserable fuckers, think of that. Nice one, Arch. Great vid. Yeah.